come with me to Bali. We started out on a 15 leg stretch in Gym Pop. I was like, oh no, they're gonna have to upgrade me for my birthday. And they did, they upgraded us for our next 10 hour flight. And then look, we finally landed. I don't even want any Starbucks. I'm so jet lagged and worn out. So my driver is texting me. When you guys land in Bali, you'll, your drivers will be in this area with signs looking for you. We found our driver and he's like, oh, we have three hour drive to get to Ubud because of the traffic when it rained. So we dozed off to sleep. And then when we woke up, we were at our villa. Look at this. This is so nice and peaceful. And these are just some night views of it. I'm too tired to show y'all everything. So we can see it in the morning. And look, it's the morning. This is how it looks. This villa is, these people are so nice to you. And these villas are so clean. I promise you, they are so clean. Now, they do have geckos here, but it's clean. This is the front of it. And then it was a temple, like, right next door to us. And this is just so peaceful. And it's just like, this is the peace that I cannot buy. Exactly. And then I had me an acai bowl. And then they decorated the pool for me. It's my birthday. And then we headed over to the day club. Um, Kreya, Kritna. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, we hung out in the pool after the sun came out. Got some drinks. Got some food. Just enjoyed the peace, the quiet, and the vibes. And just kept drinking and drinking and drinking. And then we were sitting around at different restaurants looking over the rice fields. This experience right here is was just like amazing just being able to sit and look over the rice fields and look at all these rice fields we're on our way back to our villa now and it's just so peaceful stay tuned for part two